got the uh, 200k account. Uh, it is not been started yet. I haven't taken any trades. Uh, I only got this about two days ago. So, all right, guys. Well, my forex fund shut down. Uh, they got done for a lot of different stuff. Um, we kind of got wrecked. So we just started at 200k about three or four days before they shut down. And um, yeah, I actually made a little video. I ended up deleting it, but I was uh, just saying how to start the 200k and all this stuff. And yeah, they got shut down. So yeah, we lost that account. That 700 pounds just gone. Um, and yeah, we lost our 20k funded as well. So it's been a bit of a hit, um, but it's made me realize, you know, like I've spent too much of this year kind of prioritizing prop funds and just forgetting about trading personal capital and uh, just the importance of not relying on these prop firms too much because, you know, there's not much regulation around them at the moment and they can just disappear like that. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but I thought I'd update you guys with what's happening. So, I had an idea. Uh, I, the way I've been trading has evolved over the last six months and it's uh, it's in quite a good place right now. I think the way that I've changed things are uh, pretty interesting. So I almost want to share it with you guys. But I think the best way I can share it with you is by uh, live streaming again. Because I think that was the most engaging way and the kind of best way for you guys to really get a feel for how I trade. And we can also communicate because it's, it's all in real time. So I will be starting the trading live streams again. Um, I'm not quite sure on the start date and how often, but I definitely will be starting them once again. I'm also gathering some data some, from some forward testing. So I will be not trading with live funds or at least not a large amount. Uh, but yeah, going forward, we're going to be doing the trading live streams and I will be going back to prop firms but I'm going to go for a smaller account. I'm just going to go for an 100k, uh, this time with a company called E8. Uh, I actually used them previously when I went for the 20k. Uh, so I did a 25k E8 challenge and a 20k my Forex funds. I actually failed the E8 on phase two. Uh, but apart from that, they were a smooth company. I just didn't trade very well on the 25k. But yeah, we're going to be doing the 100k with E8 and... Um, yeah, and then probably after that, I'm going to go with another prop firm and just, I'm going to try and get 100k across loads of different prop firms. That's the plan. So, yeah, guys. Um, but yeah, no, I'm quite positive going forward. I had like two days where I was really pessimistic and I was just pissed off. And I think a lot of people were. I definitely wasn't the only one. So, you know, but I can't complain. Life's considerably better than it was a few months ago. I've just moved into my new flat. But I'll maybe do a flat tour in the future. I mean, it's only a one bedroom flat, so it's nothing crazy. But um, yeah, it's it's a tricky situation. Uh, I, I'm kind of blessed that I didn't have a big payout on the way and I didn't have more funding with them. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, really. There's people that are owed a lot more money than I am, so. But yeah, um, I thought I'd update you guys where I'm at. And I look forward to kind of getting back on the live streams, to be honest. I know I stopped them, but I think that was one of my favorite things I actually did on this channel. Because um, the things with the day and the life videos, they're fun to record and stuff, but they're a bit repetitive. And, you know, loads of people on YouTube do that. And it's just a bit generic, isn't it? Because with my day and the life videos, it's not to say that what I did was staged, but to film a day in the life video, you generally want to pick a day where you're doing interesting stuff. And a lot of the time you're not doing interesting stuff. I'd say maybe two days in the month you're doing interesting stuff. And then the rest of the days are just really boring. So it's better to live stream because that's just a much more realistic view. I look forward to seeing you on the next live stream. Uh, make sure you stay tuned, keep your notification bell on, and I will see you there.